It is insane out here. It is warm, but uh, you know what? Things are going well. We got animals. Yeah, yeah, what up, Chris? How's everybody doing? Here's a little look at the uh, rec pond this week, showing you guys what's up. Fish are happy, tons and tons of baby cichlids in here now. Really excited because uh, the majority of them are electric blues, so when they grow up, they're just gonna light this pond up, everybody. So uh, things are going well. Talk to my good friend, the pond professor, Ed Ballou, over there at Aqualand. He's gonna send me a couple of things. Uh, he's gonna send me some of their aqua, Aquascape uh, fertilizer for the plants. We're really gonna kickstart these lilies and get them multiplying. Uh, they need a little bit more nutrients in the water. Uh, saying hello to some people. What's up, Ava's Animal Rescue? How you doing? Ken in here showing you some of the critters. Uh, hey, I know I'm gonna be feeding pond turtles, but why don't I go ahead and feed some of these cichlids they haven't eaten today. So I like to keep their food right here. And uh, oh, it's just a simple pellet. So I just grab a little handful. Let's go on over here. I don't overfeed, but these guys have been waiting. Uh, look right there, you can see the blue moray, the dolphin there, humphead. That's Squidward, that's his name, some red empress. Uh, we got some insignia, there they go. Oh, yes. What's up, David from Canada? How you go, buddy? Uh, from Scales and Shells and Scales and uh, Leon Gonzalez. What's up, man? I just wanted to check on everyone right out here before we head on over to the big pond and start feeding some of the animals there. Oh, look, here's Malawi eye biter, guys. Right there, the Malawi eye biter. I have a male and female in here. I need to get more from my friend Paul Redice and Angel's Hatchery. These are a uh, open water uh, predatory fish, man. They eat a lot of the guppies that I got in there. Really, really cool fish, especially when you snorkel with them. Just an interesting fish, really psyched on that. Uh, anyway, we got all the fish, man. Fish are looking good, pond's good, very warm today. Let's go on over here, some sulcata babies. There's Leon making an appearance. I just fed some collard greens. He's getting bigger, as you can see. Good old Leon, where are you, buddy? Let's focus in on Leon, maybe. There he is, Sophia's Leon getting bigger. We're gonna get him in a bigger enclosure, but I don't think he'll be able to squeeze out of that. That's why I put him in there. Uh, JMS Fishing, what up? Uh, and then here are some sulcata babies. Still hanging out here. Little babies, we threw some collards. These guys are still kind of hiding out because it is extremely warm. Look at this, isn't that awesome? So we got some little babies there. Uh, if you guys are interested in a baby sulcata, you can email me at campkennan at gmail.com. Uh, so we do have some sulcata babies. And uh, they are for sale. If you're interested, just uh, go ahead and email me. Now let's head on over here. Let's go out to the pond. We got the uh, Wi-Fi extender mounted so that we can get ourselves. Oh, let's go. Let's just do it. Walk over here. Let's take a roundabout way. All right. There's the shallow section. That's a little nursery where all the baby fish tend to congregate. What's up, Carl Arisha from South Arkansas? What it what it be? Probably nice and warm there in Arkansas as well. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna feed some of these Asian turtles first. Uh, we're gonna go to the Asian turtle pond, and it's right back here. We just step on over this. This is the little journey you got to make. There's the rhino cage from today's uh, or this week's video. Hope you guys check that out. There's more to come from that whole bit of an adventure getting that thing moved over here. So let's go, I'm gonna set up over here. I brought the pellets out. Now the water obviously is murky. Now a lot of you people might be wondering why is the water filthy? And actually this water's not filthy, it's got fresh water pouring into it. It's just that it's murky uh, because of the soil. Now it is hot so there is some kind of uh, algae growing on the top of it, but I gotta be honest with you, the turtles love it. Um, I think sometimes clear water is better for us. As long as the water is clean, there's not a lot of uh, organic waste from the animals, then you're gonna be okay um, in these kind of ponds. Now, a lot of the reason we keep the ponds murky when you have multiple species and multiple turtles in it is because they can move away from each other really quick. And uh, that way, if they're getting aggressive towards each other, they just have to go a few feet and they'll be gone. Now, oh yeah, here we go. All I gotta do is start throwing this chow out and just give it a little bit. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'm saying hello to uh, Alta Gracia Nunez, new sub, thanks for coming on over. Appreciate everybody watching the channel. The volume back on everybody, I accidentally hit the button. Sorry about that. Uh, anyhow, 
Aloha, Aloha, Ku, uh, Kuila 51 from uh, Pearl Ridge, Oahu. I've been to Oahu. Now, look at this. How funny are these elongated tortoises? And there's a Burmese brown mountain tortoise hanging out right there. That is amazing. So we're just gonna get these guys stirred up. We're gonna be on here for a bit. So don't worry, I'm showing you exactly what it's like when I'm out here feeding these animals. This is what I do every couple of days. I feed the water turtles. You just throw some pellets in. Uh, what'll happen is their little sniffers are really good. The fish are going nuts, but uh, the sniffers on these tortoises and turtles are really good. The funny thing also about these elongateds is they like the freshwater turtle food. Um, and I don't mind them eating it because these guys will eat a higher protein diet similar to redfoot tortoises, which is pretty cool. Watch this, he's gonna sniff that. All right, there we go. And for those of you guys, uh, what's up, Aaron Lamb? Thanks for subbing, buddy. Tell a friend. Uh, anyhow, uh, for those of you guys that um, are kind of new to this, uh, there are some tortoise species that eat a higher protein diet, like the redfoot tortoise and, and, of course, the elongated tortoise. And most of the time, we see tortoises that do that as tortoises that are uh, from jungle or forested areas where they might have more opportunity to come across dead animals or slow moving slugs and things like that. Okay, I got a fly river turtle right there. We got a fly river turtle that's up. We're gonna try and pull these turtles in closer. And then we're also of course gonna go on over to the main pond and we're gonna see how many turtles you guys can see there. So there's definitely over a hundred turtles are gonna be fed today. And um, it's kind of nuts out here. Don't eat my feet, please. Let's see. You gonna eat my feet? Go ahead, give it a shot. You gonna get a nibble? Oh, goes for the little toe. Not the big tough toe. He goes for my little smaller toe. I, I need that one. Little lunatics. Uh, anyway, I promise there are turtles in this pond. Um, it's a, it's a, isn't that the way, guys? They get camera shy. But they're coming out right now. And we'll just sit back. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's move over. I'm gonna just step back a little bit from the water. There's that Burmese brown mountain tortoise. He was soaking earlier. These guys are just hanging out. It's still extremely hot, so the tortoises and turtles are not very active. But we know they got some food coming up. Let's answer some questions, man. Let's see, uh, someone was asking, why call it 100 pond turtles? Do you mean 100? Yeah, right, 100, what did I do? Maybe I did it wrong. <laughs> I don't know if that title's right. I'll change it when I get done. I was speeding along making that title. Uh, speed, what was it? Oh yeah, why did I do that? You're right, I should have just spelled out 100. Well, you know, math was never my strong suit and apparently neither was reading comprehension. Uh, anyway, there is a Badiger of Finnis out there. That is one of the turtles from the Bronx Zoo, uh, pretty, Rare Royal River Terrapin from Southeast Asia. Uh, Cooper Page, how do I combat the salmonella from turtle shells? Uh, well, I don't really combat it. Uh, with the turtles that I keep inside, or the baby tortoises, uh, I just make sure I try and keep them as clean as possible and I wash my hands, that's about it. Um, not really worried about it. Been working with turtles for years, as long as you wash your hands and as long as you try and keep them as clean as possible, uh, you shouldn't have too much of an issue. Uh, look at this. There's Badiger of Finnis right there. He's popping up. There's, of course, more of them in here. Let's see if we can get the females up. Uh, let's see. Would it be okay to keep uh, Skate Ninja? Would it be okay to keep Cherry Head and Red Vitoruses together? Yes. If they did breed, though, you would lose the purity of that Cherry Head line, uh, which, you know, a lot of people find desirable because that's a, that's a really beautiful uh, species. Look at this elongated over here getting a drink of water, coming down to get some food. Isn't that cool? Uh, it's a natural pond over here. There's some cypress trees. We've got a spring going into it. We got like, of course, uh, our well water going in. Um, GMS fishing, what kind of uh, fish? We've got tilapia, we've got some catfish, and we've got guppies, well, gambusia, and we've also got uh, Mayan cichlids in this pond. So that's what's in here. So uh, we're gonna move on over to the other pond. I'll come back, I promise and uh, we'll see what's doing with those guys. There's a Emidura sublagosa, the pink belly side next. They used to be out front. They're now in the back there because when I was doing work on the front and I removed the fence, I needed to make sure that those guys didn't escape. So I threw them in this pond and they've been living in here for the last few months. All right, we got the water going. It's rising up. Let's head on over to the big pond.
and see if we can get some of those guys a little bit more that are less cat. Look at us, they smell it. What do you think? <laughs> think these guys are uh, excited about food or what? They can smell so well, turtles and tortoises. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up over here because the sun is just blazing and you know how my phone likes to cut off from heat stroke. So we don't want that to happen. So let's get in the shadier area and I'll start pulling these tortoises up. I had been doing some work over here. Hey, B. Hutch, I got your Wi-Fi extenders, buddy. We need some ethernet cables. I'm gonna get to work on that. Uh, there's some program I gotta download, but I will be messing with that in the coming weeks here. So thanks, B. Hutch. Uh, appreciate you uh, helping out. Uh, you only spell out the numbers one through 10. Uh, were you able to figure out the access points? Yeah, I, I'm hoping that uh, what I just explained to you makes sense. Um, I'll probably uh, have Tom come down. He's my technical guru, but uh, I did read it over. It looks like I need some ethernet stuff, some cords. So I'll just have to pick those up and we'll be underway. All right, look at this. There's my favorite cooter. She's the one in the thumbnail. This girl is adorable. She just loves to eat. I'm trying to stay out of the sun, but I can focus in on these animals. And you're going to see, guys, so many of these guys are going to be uh, coming over here. So I want you guys uh, in the comments to see how many different species you guys can find. I have close to, I think in this pond, 15 dis different species. Uh, but it'd be fun if you guys can check them out. Uh, what's going on there, Christopher Supper? No, uh, this is not the one from the cichlid pond. This girl here is a Florida red belly. Uh, that was a yellow belly that was in that pond. So she's back in here now, uh, the, the, the yellow belly. So uh, you could check it out. <clears throat> now you will see some um, melanistic red ears. Uh, my red ears, I've been grandfathered in. I do not take any more red eared sliders, uh, but these turtles have been here for years. So they can live out their lives. Um, I pretty much destroy the eggs when they lay them because we don't want any more um, you know, red ears in Florida. So that's what we do. There's a red ear there. Kind of funny. <clears throat> uh, Joshua, any big plans for the channel? Tom's coming down here uh, in July. We're going to be filming a bunch more swimming wits. Uh, we're also going to just be focusing on education, guys. That's what we do here. So, um, you know, we try and do education channel, have some fun, and we want to go out and meet more reptile breeders, not necessarily breeders, but keepers, people that are doing like really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, I can hand feed the turtles. They're all tame. Um, let's see, especially this gal. Hello, young lady. I'll risk a little. You want a little? You want a little? You want a little? Show everyone. Do you not smell it? What's going on? All right, maybe I don't hand feed them. There you go. There you go. She just needed a little coaxing. All right. So we're gonna be pulling over these. Oh, look at this, guys, by the way. They all start coming out. There's some grandis. They start coming out from the ledges. Underneath the ledges, they're hiding during the day. And then they come out, they smell the food, they get in the water, and then they swim towards me. Isn't that crazy? See, these guys are nuts. All right. They're waking up for sure. They don't know what to think of me when I'm crouched down over here. I'm hoping we'll get the big uh, Orlidia borneensis, uh, which is a really big species of Asian turtle. Um, we have 17 of them in here. However, the only one that likes to come up is the big granddaddy, the big male uh, that I've had for about 12 years now in this pond. Just a beautiful and intriguing creature. Uh, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna keep the camera and I wanna see if you guys can identify some of these turtles. What do you think? They're all starting to come over. I love it. Let's see some more questions. Uh, let's see, Diane Ledford, I applaud you for your education effort and the importance of conservation effort. Never settle up. Thank you very much, appreciate that. I'm gonna step back because I don't want this camera to get real hot. Okay guys, so forgive me, I'll zoom in. Um, it's, I got no case on the camera. Maybe I should get that white case, I don't know. Florida is warm. Let's zoom in a little bit though. Uh, fly rivers are good, Pierce. We're going to go back and have a look and see if I can get to them in a little bit. So we'll zoom in and just check these guys out. You can see now all the little heads starting to pop up. And once we find an interesting turtle, I'm going to jump back down in there. Uh, yes, uh, slam in the Aquarius. I do want to make this a clearer pond. Right now it's very low. We've not had enough rain here this summer in Florida. Um, it's such a bummer. 
but what I want to do and what has been discussed is making a large stream that goes from one end, one end of my property uh, to the other. And what will, that will become is a giant filtration system. We're going to plant it. It'll be really cool. Hey, here's some Hillari. You guys see the Hillari right there? Let's see, where is he? He just went under. The Hillari are, uh, if you watched last week, I unboxed one that came from New York, uh, but I already had three in the pond. They're a South American side neck turtle, really pretty, um, found all over uh, South America. Oh, there's the Orlidia, guys. That's him, this big monster. That is the biggest turtle in this pond, right there. Orlidia borneensis. Let's see if we can get him closer. Oh, he's cool. He is a big sucker. Let me zoom out because I don't want you guys to get motion sickness from all this moving around. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need a paddle boat to get around my property. Yes, Chris. I'm hoping that I just have water all over the place. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it would be cool if I could do a moat. So there's a lot going on, man. I don't know if uh, any of you guys saw it, but we did some sea turtle conservation uh, on that video. There's the, uh, there is, oh, he went under again. Oh, there's Orlidia. That's huge. Monsters. Monsters are everywhere in this pond. Yeah, so we did the sea turtle video, and it's interesting, man. I don't know what's going on with the old YouTube, but not a lot of people watch that video. It's kind of a bummer because it's such a cool message and it was such a cool um, experience, you know, working with sea turtles, man. So I don't know. That was kind of a bummer. I don't know what happened, but I don't know if it's the algorithms or if I didn't, like, you know, buy something. I think, I think the videos need to just be about buying things and, uh, you know, spending a whole heap of money in order to get views. I have no idea. But um, I'm going to fight against that and keep putting out content that I'm proud of. So if uh, you guys missed it, go check out that video because really, really cool to work with the National Save the Sea Turtle Foundation. Uh, and it was just amazing. And I'm supposed to link up with Larry um, maybe next week. And we're going to go meet another incredible uh, conservationist and biologist, Jeanette Weineken. Um, she does a lot of work with leatherback sea turtles. So I'm hoping to do uh, some videos with her. And that would be really cool. So um, there you go, man. Anyway, let's see. What, what, what else do we got here? Uh, there's the Orlidia again. Big giant monster. Oh, yes. I love this pond. Really, really cool. And you can see now all the turtles are really starting to make their way over here. It's just large. There's so many turtles. So uh, gosh, I mean, it's just so amazing. So many of the turtles here in this pond are turtles that obviously can survive all year long here. There's a grandis. That's the giant Asian wood turtle or giant Asian pond turtle or for us turtle nerds, Heosemi's grandis. There's about 40 of those. And I was just starting to explain what this pond is comprised of. This is a pond that's kind of a community pond. And it's a hodgepodge of uh, Asian species and some North American species and even a couple species of African helmeted turtles and uh, serrated terrapins from uh, Africa. And basically, I keep it like this because these are turtles that no one really wants to mess with. But I open up my doors uh, because these animals are important. I love them just because they're turtles, man. So uh, anyhow, um, I've opened this pond up to help out some different zoos and TSA and Turtle Conservancy um, because it's so large. We've got so much space here, guys, uh, that the animals do very well. And I feed them three times a week. So everyone's happy and eating and they can survive in the uh, cool temperatures. And that's what I do with this pond. It's basically just a free for all, um, but it's nice, you know, to have this kind of space. And of course, this pond was one of the reasons I moved here, man. Um, Basically, I don't do a lot of uh, management except to dig up eggs here. I'll dig up some eggs, and to be perfectly honest, if they are slider eggs, um, I dig up the grandest eggs, I hatch them. Um, but slider eggs, I'm not, uh, I'm either feeding off to Slinky or just like the crows get the eggs. So that's basically what I've got to do. Um, that's just the deal, guys. Now, I do, believe it or not, you can tell the difference between cooter and slider eggs and, you know, snapping turtle eggs and, uh, of course, Florida softshell eggs because they all have different shapes and different shell types of the egg. So, for example, uh, the 
the softshell turtle's eggs are going to be uh, ping pong ball shaped, and then the snapping turtle eggs are going to be ping pong ball shaped, but they're going to have a hard shell, and then you're going to have uh, cooters and sliders have an oblong uh, kind of leathery shell, and the grandis have an oblong um, hard shell. So it's pretty interesting, you know, that the turtles have different type eggs that you're able to identify fairly certain. Uh, sometimes you get a surprise, but that's usually a turtle species that I've never worked with before. There's the hillari. There's one of them right there. You can see it's flat, almost uh, toad-like head and that post-orbital stripe that runs down the length of the head. There's a map turtle right there. Just went under. All right. Gosh, it is warm today. And a lot of the heads are out there and they're staying out, man. What's a good turtle to keep outdoors in New York that could live through the winter? Uh, of course, the Eastern, the Eastern painted turtle, man. One of my favorite turtles, hardy. And also the turtle that gets the world record for holding its breath longer than any other turtle species or actually any other air breathing vertebrate. Six months when uh, I believe they were doing research at Brown University and one of those turtles held its breath for six months during hibernation. It was able to extract oxygen directly from the water through capillaries in its cloaca and the lining of its mouth, of its throat. Uh, but it did not breathe using its lungs for six whole months. Now, how amazing is that, everybody? I think that is pretty cool. So they get the record there. Uh, their blood also has a little bit of an antifreeze, an antifreeze-like property to it. They are the most northerly uh, found species of turtle in North America, them and the uh, good old common snapping turtle. Uh, so they're a really, really tough turtle. You can even see them swimming under the ice uh, some Januarys if it gets a little warm. I know my buddy Chris uh, Supper knows. He's probably been out herping in the middle of the winter to look for some of those painted turtles. But uh, yeah, here's everybody, man. They're looking good. Oh, there's some fish too. We got big tilapia and stuff like that. Um, I like the, what is it? The, oh God, I always say its name wrong. The Owacha, Owacha, Owachi. Oh God, the map turtle. It's the yellow blotched is really pretty. Yellow blotched map turtle. Um, there's a bunch of yellow bellies out there. Gosh. All right. What do you say we go back over and see what's happening with that Asian turtle pond? with the Grandis and the Reeves turtles and everybody over there. These guys have gotten a lot of food. So we're gonna walk back over here and see what's what. Also coming up at 4.30, I do have my Patreon live where I'll be chatting with some of my Patreon supporters. It's a little bit more of an intimate live where you guys can hang out with me and just sit back, relax and ask questions. We talk about a whole variety of things. So let's go back over here in the shade and just start checking out some more food. Look at this. I put this banana plant that was dying. I just chopped it and uh, they are the garbage disposals eating that banana plant. Pretty cool. All right, guys, let's get them out. Of course, the fish always come first. There they all are. I'll just put you guys down here and I'll answer some more questions, man. All right. I live in Norway. What kind of turtle can I have? Well, I'd go with, uh, you know, I would definitely go with a uh, painted turtle there as well. Western, Midland, Eastern. If you can get them in Europe, I believe you can. Uh, I would definitely go for that. Um, no doubt. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what else? Sweaty skin only. Thank you very much. Very kind. I love you too. Uh, do I know anyone selling any Lewis Eye hybrids? Yeah, me. And you know that because we've been corresponding. Uh, I think you're looking for someone to trade with. Um, if anyone's looking to trade a Lewis Eye Hybrid, uh, Yadel, uh, what's her name, the name there? I don't know if it's, Yadiel Cordova is looking for him. So there you go. Uh, yeah, you've seen Lacertas in December, Chris. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. I wouldn't think that would even be possible. But if, they're, uh, if it's warm enough, uh, they'll be out. They'll be checking things out. I just can't believe that my... Uh, my Batiger aren't coming up. I thought for sure this was going to be a home run today, guys. Uh, there, there's, a, there's a Fly River. There he is, Fly River turtle seen. Yes, confirmed, Fly River confirmed. Let's see if we can see all three of them. That was the biggest one, there he is. There's another, there's two. I got two confirmed. 
first sightings, at least I do, I don't know if you guys saw them, but I'm looking. There's the Fly River, guys. See this? There's the flies. They're happy in here. There's one back there. I'll keep throwing some pellets and hopefully they'll just keep coming over here. Right there where I threw the pellets, you'll see some Fly River turtles doing their thing. Those guys have been doing amazing. And the Mata Mata is doing awesome in here, by the way. I know I call it the Asian turtle pond, but I do have a Mata Mata in here. So yeah, the Fly River should, there it is, Fly River, everybody. Poking out. Little pig nose head, there he goes. Cool. Uh, there's not a newly described uh, Indian tortoise, Chris. The, the thing that I read is that they actually found impressed tortoise in India for the first time. Not that it's a new tortoise. It's kind of, I saw that, that uh, headline and it was a little bit of a misleading headline. Um, yeah, there are pink belly side, there are pink side necks in here, Austra Australasian turtles in here. Um, but yeah, to go back to that, right, the, um, I believe it's an impressed tortoise that has been found in eastern India. It is not a new species uh, described to science. It's a new species found in India. All right, very cool. Uh, let's see, let's see. So if anyone is looking for to purchase a uh, sub-adult, like a male, a small, a young adult male, Lewis Eye Hybrid, I do have one available. Beautiful animal, $1,500. Uh, just FYI, if anyone's looking. Um, but yeah, where is this? There he is. Oh my God, they're so fast. So fast. I'm feeling kind of crazy today. Uh, do you think crocodile monitors fill the same niche as clouded leopards and other uh, side of the Wallace line? Listen, uh, I don't think so. Um, I really don't know enough about, you know, clouded leopards to, you know, really get into that. Um, you know, anytime you have an apex predator, a clouded leopard can bring down much larger prey than a uh, croc monitor. Croc monitors are arboreal. They're eating monkeys, small birds, reptiles, things like that, opportunistic, scavenging, doing a, a bunch of stuff like that. I don't think that they're actually going to be, um, you know, taken down larger prey items like a clouded leopard, but I don't know. I don't know, I could be wrong. There they are. Uh, very cool, let me see. I'm gonna not be able to answer questions here. I'm feeling, feeling crazy. I'm not seeing the screen. I'm gonna put you guys here. And I think you're such a cool crew of human beings that I might just go get dirty for you. Um, sorry about that, hold on. I'm gonna tape this off too, so don't be mad if you can't hear me as well. I know people like to freak out. I'm actually going to get in this crap water just because. Let's get in there and pull out. Uh, let's, let's do the turtle grab bag. Let's see what we get. All right, here's the little microphone. I'm going to talk loud. The thing is, do I take off my shirt? Who cares? Hey, by the way, look at this. Look at this. You think I'm scared right now? I'm not scared. Look at that elongated tortoise. He's actually so much of a go-getter. They're such go-getters. They go in the water and they eat the, tor the turtle pellets in the water. How nuts is that? I watch this all the time. It doesn't freak me out because these guys are little bobs. They're like little bobbers. So basically they just kind of bob around and then they will actually swim. So how amazing is that behavior, people? That is really, really, really cool, man. Uh, Aries, scared of the brain-eating amoeba. Yeah, me too. I won't put my head underwater, I promise. I'm not doing that today, but I will try and grab, yeah, look at that fly river. It's always fun to try and, um, you know, get hands on with these animals so I can kind of give them an assessment and check them out. All right, I'm going to have to yell, people. Don't be mad. Here we go. Going in. Let's see what we can find. I'll tell you what, the water feels good. Water feels great. Because that, that stuff's been pumping into it, so it's like really, really fresh. That's deep mud. Oh. Hey, we got a Reeves turtle. Well, I'll show you guys a Reevesy. Reeves eye. I'm actually going to bring these Reeves turtles 
I'm going to be bringing these Reeves turtles um, into the front, and they're going to live up front. But this is a large female, and they give off a musk, and it is smelly. But she's covered with algae. Big gal, big adult female. I love these turtles. Uh, they'll wander around on land. They'll take to the water. They do it all. All right, let's go get another. Uh, maybe I'm going to do this, too. I'm going to flip the camera so I can make sure and maybe see some of your comments. All right, there you go. How you guys doing? Hope you guys don't mind. We're getting, we're playing loose and fast here. Ah, oh, very cool. All right, good. This way I can kind of see what you guys are seeing and I can possibly answer questions, all right? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, wait, was Kate, did Kate somehow say something? Did, uh, she's going to be, she's not going to let me in the house. That's what's going to happen. Kate will not let me in the house. All right, uh, here we go. All right, Thunder Poo. All right, let's go. We're getting, we're, uh, you know I'm serious when I take off the hat, people. I am serious. Let's go. Any excuse to get in this water? Got a big one. Woo! Oh. How's that? We got the big Badiger female, everybody. All right, Kate's here too. Maybe Kate will grab the camera for us. Kate just well, came on out. You got to flip the camera, flip hon. Just visit right. Nope, there this it is. Thing? That thing right there. My nose. Sorry. All right. And then what I'll do, guys, I'm going to put her up here. We'll talk a little bit about her. Um, so this is one of the females that I got from Bronx Zoo. It's a beautiful, beautiful turtle. This is the Royal River Terrapin. These guys are an endangered species, huge turtle. Um, this animal here can be found in Southeast Asia, and it's actually a terrapin. Now, when we say terrapin in the United States, we mean a turtle that can live in brackish water. These turtles will actually swim out to the very same beaches that sea turtles lay their eggs on, uh, they'll lay their eggs, and then the babies will go uh, go into the ocean and then swim up the river delta and then back upstream. So that's pretty amazing. So this is a brackish water turtle. Oh, boy, I got to hold it. She's tough. I don't want her to fall, and I want you guys to hear. Uh, so this microphone is, uh, as you can see, I'm holding it like this. But look at her face. She's got a really cool face. Thanks, hon. She's got a beautiful face. Um, and the Badigers have that really unique upturned nose, and it's such a great snorkel for them. Uh, but it's just such a beautiful critter. Now, there's also another species called Badiger borneensis, Borne uh, and that's the Painted River Terrapin. And that animal, the males will go through a breeding season and a color change. But that we got hands on this female is tremendous today because she's not easy to find. Um, even though she's a, a large lady. Uh, and I mean that with all love. I'm not fat shaming her. I just want her to be a large lady because she's got to be the one to carry the eggs and lay them. Now, I did see some nesting behavior earlier this year. I think next year we're going to be lucky. Hopefully, we'll get some babies out of these. I have uh, some males in here as well. So, uh, pretty cool. I hope you guys are liking it. Are there any questions, Kate? Uh, a lot of people want you to give her a smooch. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know. Oh, I'm... don't. Look at those teeth. Oh, no. 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 I won't do it. Don't that's do how... it. Because that's how you get salmonella. Yeah. And we don't do that, right? That's I'm not right. doing that. We don't do stuff for views except give her the edumacation. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to kiss her. Did she breed? Someone wants to know. I think I saw up. Did she breed? No. I was just explaining that there was some nesting. Um, I did find some crushed eggs. I think they were hers. Um, so, uh, maybe next year we'll get some viable babies. Uh, but this is this animal's close to a hundred pounds about so she's pretty incredible So I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in. We'll grab one more turtle. What's the time? Do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's 4.30. Oh, no, it's 4.30. It is 4.30. Here, get, get them, get, get her going. All right, here we go. Here she goes. It's a big lady. Wow, she is large. Large and in charge. Uh -huh. Large and in charge. Uh -huh. You know what, everybody? I, it's 4.30 and what that means is I have to jump on over to my Patreon because um, there are some good folks that are waiting there on Patreon to hang out and talk. 
Um, so, uh, yeah. But I think we had some fun. Um, there's a bunch of turtles here. We get, did get to see some of them in here. I was hoping to grab a fly river for you, but it didn't materialize. But uh, thanks to everyone, man. Let's hey, answer another Dave question. Dow says you should name her Marge. I like that, like Large Marge. Large Marge from Pee Wee Herman. That's the best. The good old Pee Wee Herman movie that was yeah. big when I was a youngster. Yeah. Tell them Large Marge Large. sent you. Uh, anyhow, I hope you guys are having fun with these lives. It's just a great way. And uh, go back and check out that sea turtle video if you haven't seen it. Really proud of that one. We did a lot of cool stuff, and I want to help Larry and the Save the Sea Turtle Foundation out so they continue to bring us out to film more videos because that's how this works, guys, when you're doing conservation work. We're really trying to get the word out for some people that do good work, okay? Uh, I'm all for having animals as pets. I'm into it, but, you know, I'm just not... I, I'm never going to do videos like, look at the $30 million turtle I bought. I just, that's just not me. We're trying to do it a different way. Hope you guys like it. And uh, that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Head over to the Camp Kennan Army channel. And if you're interested in some more content that you can't find anywhere else, go check out patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. Find out how you can get involved and help us out keeping these videos going. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And, uh, well, why don't I leave you with this beauty? right here. Bye.